Hello, this is Michael Sulak, and we are going to find the inverse function for the following function, f of x equals 6 minus x to the one-third power. So the first step is to replace f of x with what it's equivalent to in algebra, which is y. As a side note here, x to the one-third power is the same thing as the cube root of x, for example. So that's step one. Step two is to switch x and y. Now the third step, that is to solve for y. I'm a big fan of not dealing with negatives. And if I subtract 6 from both sides right now, this negative y to the one-third is a little bit challenging to understand the order of operations for solving for y here. So you can avoid that if instead of subtracting 6 from both sides, you decide to move the y to the left side and the x to the right side. So I'm going to rewrite that. And you'll notice already I don't have any negative signs now. And that just makes life a little bit easier. So let's keep going. Now I need to get y by itself. So what does that mean? I'm going to subtract x from both sides. And now I need to deal with this one third exponent. And like I said, I've got y to the one third. That's the same thing as the cube root of y. What I need to do is get rid of that cube root. That means I need to do the inverse, and it turns out that if you have the cube root of whatever it is, say y, and you end up cubing that, multiplying it by itself three times, these cancel each other out, and you end up with just y. So at this point, what we have to do is do this cubing, and we have to do that to both sides. And so now I have y to the one-third to the third, which ends up canceling each other out, and I just end up with y equals not much I can do on the right side. I could multiply all that out if I wanted to, but it's going to be a little bit nasty, so I'm just going to leave it like this. So we're done with step three. We wanted to solve for y, and we've done that, which means we're now at step four, which is another pretty easy step which is just replace y with f inverse of x, 6 minus x to the third power. And if I want to make sure this is the right function, I could check it. And I need to see, is this true? So we are going to find f of f inverse of x and hope that that equals x. So I'm going to rewrite everything by the definition. So what is f inverse of x? Well, that's 6 minus x quantity to the third power. And now, what is that? Well, that means I'm going to put my input here into my f function for x. So let's be careful about how we're putting this in. Our original function says 6 minus x to the 1 third. So I'm going to say, OK, that's 6 minus my input to the 1 third power. My input needs to go right in here for x. And since all this is my input, I'm going to have 6 minus all this. What happens here? You have something to the third and then the 1 third power. That's saying cube it and then take the cube root. So as a reminder, and they're just inverses, so we end up back with x. So this whole chunk right here is going to turn into 6 minus, and then because this third power cancels out with this one third, I'm going to have minus just the 6 minus x with no exponent on it. And so what happens now? Well, I'm going to get 6 minus 6, but just like this minus sign made that negative, this minus sign also affects that x, and I just end up with x right back where I started. So is this the right answer? Do we have the right inverse? Yes, we do. So just as a refresher, what did we do? We replaced f of x with y. We switched x and y. We solved for y. 
And then once we had solved for y, we just replace y with f inverse of x, with the symbols f inverse of x. And then all this last part was doing was checking to make sure that the answer we got here was actually the inverse of our original function. And we went through that composition of functions and determined that yes, we do end up back where we started. So we had the right answer and that made us happy. The more you practice, the better you'll get. This is Michael Sulak, and I will see you next time.